Hello ladies and gents of the internets, my name is Nick and today I'm bringing you my first impressions of NVIDIA's latest technology, Shadowplay. After reviewing the footage very closely and comparing it to other sort of competitors such as Fraps or Playclaw, you can tell immediately that it's very 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 smooth. The frame rates are nice, it's a little jumpy here and there, but as far as I'm concerned this is a Fraps killer. Now. There is one downside, that being that you have to have a 600 series card or higher. Me, I have a 760. Uh, the reason that you have to have a higher series of card is they have a built-in H.264 encoder, and that is what allows for awesome frame rates while still getting beautiful footage out of uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay. The technology is great, the footage is great, and even the footage you're seeing right now has been compressed twice since it's been compressed in my video editor, then being compressed on YouTube again. If you get the chance to see some raw footage, I might post the raw footage uh, on a separate link that you can look for in the description. If not, I'll put a link on the screen right now showing you where you can look at uh, some raw footage, and it's astonishing. Uh, this I captured with low settings, believe it or not, and I was amazed at how little the file size was and how great it looked, just for low settings, it was great. So overall, uh, I gotta give this one a giant thumbs up. Everyone over there at NVIDIA who worked on this is awesome, and it's gonna change the way that people start playing, start sharing, and just <laughs> overall start creating more content, which is gonna be great for the gaming industry. Um, another feature as well that they haven't enabled on Shadowplay yet is the Twitch streaming uh, ability. So you can go and you can stream directly from Shadowplay. So there's no messing around with programs like XSplit or Open Broadcaster. It's just another thing to, less to worry about. I haven't had a chance to play around with it yet because so, it's not uh, released yet, but when it does get released, I'll definitely be posting a review on the streaming capabilities. And overall, it's just a really well-built uh, piece of software, and I recommend it to anyone who has a 600 series card or 700 series card. Or if you're watching this three years from now, you probably have what, 900 series cards or something like that. But it's just, for the time being, it's a great alternative to something like Fraps. Your frame rate doesn't tank, it's only about a 5% loss in my cases. Uh, my Skyrim is heavily modded with lots of shaders, ENBs, uh, grass overhauls, things of that sort, loads of HD textures, um, pretty much just every graphically intensive mod that you can do to Skyrim, it's done on mine. I guarantee you it's done on mine. It's great for pretty much capturing any kind of footage you want, whether it's fast-paced footage such as FPS, or if it's something like StarCraft, where there's not as much movement, and you're kind of just like laying your players down going, okay, here we go, and just doing sort of slower style gameplay. I don't see any degradation in the quality. Now, the file sizes. They're very small compared to something like, a, like Fraps. A five-minute file on Fraps would be like, 3 gigs. On NVIDIA Shadowplay, with the correct settings, it's like 500 megs. And it's just such a space saver as well, and it makes it a lot easier to edit the footage and get it down in size, make sure everything's going really well. But anyway, that just about wraps it up for my first impressions of NVIDIA Shadowplay. I'm very satisfied so far, and I will continue to use it so far. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment, ask, like, what do you want me to do next? Do you want some gameplay footage? Would you like to see anything like that? Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Go push the button, it's down in the description. I'll even put it on the screen for you, for you lazy guys who don't even bother wanting to move the mouse. So anyway, guys, uh, have a great day, and I'll definitely get back with some more uh, footage. Uh, also, some more reviews, things of that sort. I got a lot of stuff planned. I got a decent internet connection now, so uploading is not <laughs> out of the picture anymore. It's, uh, now it's a possibility. So anyway, I'll catch you next time.